laser precision could also be handy for disabling ground or sea vehicles without killing their occupants. Of course, a soundless, invisible and recoilless weapon is also pretty stealthy, if you can get close enough to use it. Why use a laser instead of a bullet, shell or missile? To begin with, lasers are highly accurate and quick-acting, since they are fast as light and mostly unaffected by gravity. This could make them ideal for swatting down small, speedy targets, such as incoming rockets and artillery shells. Most importantly, lasers could be very cheap. Contemporary missile defense systems, such as Israel's Iron Dome or the United States GMD anti-ballistic missile system, are much more expensive than the missiles they are designed to shoot down, making them untenable were they to face mass attacks. The same problem exists at the tactical level when considering how to counter the future threat of weaponized drone swarms. Basically large flocks of small, expendable drones designed to overwhelm enemy defenses. While anti-aircraft missiles may cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. The energy consumed by a laser weapon might cost as little as a dollar. For systems hooked up to a power generator. Lasers do come with disadvantages that have held back their adoption for decades. To start with, laser energy tends to bloom or diffuse in an atmosphere, limiting maximum range, especially when obstructed by sand, smoke or fog. Lasers may have difficulty burning through denser materials, and often require several seconds of continuous contact to inflict significant damage, which may not be enough time to disable heavier projectiles, depending on the power and engagement range of the laser as well as the speed of the target. Development of laser-resistant materials and countermeasures has proceeded apace despite lasers having yet to enter widespread operational use. Another consideration is that lasers create virtually no kinetic pushback, so if a laser can't burn out a critical component on a vehicle or munition, such as a warhead, engine, heat shield, targeting system, or fuel supply. Laser weapons require powerful electrical generators or dangerously volatile chemical fuels, as well as bulky liquid or solid-state cooling systems. These limitations pose serious obstacles to producing field-deployable lasers. However, recent advances in solid-state laser technology may offer a solution to limiting the size of the power supply. There are also legal restrictions. The 1995 Protocol on Blinding Laser Weapons, part of the UN Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons, forbids the use of dazzler lasers explicitly designed to permanently blind the eyesight of adversaries. This came into force after several Dazzler lasers were developed and even exported and possibly used, and it is rumored the Chinese Type 99 tank may still have such a weapon system despite the protocol.